Hey, it's Blair, the love guru. Today is July 29th, 2022. And I am a healer, deprogrammer, catalyst, and spiritual teacher. My websites are thealiennetwork.com and horsehealer.net, loveguru.net. So um, it's early morning. My throat is a little bit raspy. Because you're the first person I'm speaking to, and I literally just woke up, and I was like, okay, let's record this audio. It's been on my mind for a couple weeks. So this audio is called Understanding the Matrix. Um, I am just going to be sharing as much as I can in this audio, just sort of doing like a mind dump in a way. I know that sounds horrible. We'll say like a download, a mind download. Um, I've been getting a lot of information about this over the last, uh, I guess, several months, but it's been more intense over the last month, and um, we'll see how this information comes out. It's time for me to teach it. Um, So there's a lot of talk about breaking out of the matrix. I actually even have this wording on my website, thealiennetwork.com. now I have that as the time, at the time of me recording this, I do have break out of the matrix. So, um, there is no breaking out of the matrix. Okay. Um, the way that, so this audio, like, so what I want to share. So first off, make sure you have some pen and paper with you, have some water with you. I am sh- sharing healing energy with you. Things are going to shift while you're listening to this. Um, some or all of this information is going to be new to you. Um, so it, it, it may very well and most possibly will bring up, um, weird, uncomfortable, and even like disturbing thoughts for you. Um, you've been warned. I went through this process and I still am. And sometimes things come into my mind and as far as remembrance and it's disturbing. Okay, and then I process it and I'm like, oh, yeah, it's no big deal. I understand that now. But when I first hear it, it like sort of makes me a little bit nauseous. Um, So, again, you've been warned Um, you what you want to do is um, this is like two parts in getting this information and downloading and processing this information and and, um, uh, acclimating to it and um, increasing like the energy to your energy body is that like you're listening to me so you're getting energy through my voice and the vibrations that I'm sharing the activations that I'm sharing through teaching this and then the second step is you are journaling and thinking about but it's key to journal about like certain things that I said that are like interesting to you or like disturbing to you like you want to journal about that and what I mean by journal is like you're going to write about like why why does this bother you or why is this of interest to you and then you write questions to your soul as far as like things that you want to know more about okay and then you'll start getting downloads about um about this information too um so that's how you process it it's a couple different steps um to getting this information, all right. It, it's sort of like um, uh, I what would the word be like? Sort of like a, a time package or like an energy package that, or like an energy present. Like you get the these the this energy download is like planted in you, and then it's up to you to start unpacking it and then it also unpacks over time okay it's like the gift that keeps giving so what we're in here like so we're raised to believe that our parents give birth to us out of your mother's canal we'll say and then you are raised and we have these visions of um, like these perfect families on TV, which I know that there has been. It's interesting. When I was young, there used to be a lot of like idyllic. And I think this was also from like our parents era. I, I don't know how old you are, but I'm just like assuming like or maybe your grandparents. I don't know how young you are. But um, 
there was like sort of like the evolution of TV, which is all programming. Okay, that's all mind control. Is that there was like sort of like Leave It to Beaver and like maybe the Cosby Show or like Different Strokes or, um, I'm trying to think of the show that had Blair in it because people used to bring that up to me. It was like this woman's all these girls. I think they were orphans. I'm not. I can't really remember. But, like, we used to have these shows that showed on how, like, there were these maybe perfect families. Um, Family Ties is one of the shows. Um, That was, like, when I was growing up. Um, So I don't know how perfect. I think it was more perfect from, like, my parents' era. And then I don't really remember what Different Strokes or, like, the Cosby show was about. But maybe still like happy families and then like tv programming mind control uh started shifting and showing maybe like imperfect families i'm not 100 percent sure about this but i think that's what's going on now on tv that they show like sort of messy families or dysfunctional families or like you know families that are like divorced and like they don't like their step husband or like their blended families and and someone can call that evolution but this is very controlled this is controlled um which is not evolution controlled is well it's controlled evolution i don't know it's really fucked up so the thing is is that we are given this mind control this programming that there's the unit of family and that your mom gives birth to you and gives birth to everybody and well not to everybody obviously but like that's how kids are brought into this world and that everybody's human you're like taught that everybody's human and if you were awake during this convid scam the con the covid I hate saying that word the con, if you were awake during the con, then you were like really sort of a lot of, well, not maybe you, but a lot of people were like, who were awake were like confused by what people were doing and like irritated by people masking up, by people following all the rules. Like you saw how everybody like really fell in line and you were like, dude, what sort of weird fucking planet am I on? And it was like super disturbing because like you probably, well, no, not you. Some people, many people had, me included, had the default belief that these are all humans. We're going to get to this, okay? Um, Hopefully, in case, like, unless I forget it or like it goes out of my mind or like my soul doesn't want me to talk about it or it's like too much. Maybe we'll do a part two. But um, they usually take me on like a certain um, journey through these audios on how to present the material. So like, I know like that was like sort of the extra disturbance thing that you were thinking, Hey, these people are like me or maybe not as like anti rules as me or like, don't tell me what to do. Maybe they weren't so much that, but like you still kind of thought that these people were human So therefore, it was like extra disturbing that you're like, what's wrong with the human race? Like, this is really fucked up. 